Hello everyone. As you receive this video blog, I am on a plane back from Doha, Qatar, and I look forward to sharing stories with you in a couple of weeks. Tomorrow, however, we will be joining Congregation Shema Koleinu and celebrating Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel Independence Day. The service will be filled with incredible song, beautiful poetry and prayer, and followed by an Israeli oneg and Israeli dancing. As I contemplated what I might say with regards to the state of Israel and the celebration of its 76th anniversary, I struggled deeply with what I could say with regards to how we are all feeling at this time. I decided to share with you a poem by Yehuda Amichai. Before I read this excerpt from his poem, I want to just kind of set the setting. As tourists often go through the streets of Jerusalem and all over Israel, we often use markers, often people, to say, hey, you see that arch? You see that stairway right next to that guy all dressed in black? This is a very common way that tour guides help us find the same place to be looking as he or she tells us a story. This excerpt is from Yehuda Amichai's poem called Tourists, and I think it captures an important message for us as we struggle with what's going on in Israel today. It reads as follows. Once I sat on the steps by a gate at David's tower. I placed my two heavy baskets at my side. A group of tourists was standing around their guide, and I became their target marker. You see that man with the baskets? Just above his head, there's an arch from the Roman period. But he's moving. He's moving. I said to myself, Redemption will only come if their guide tells them, you see that arch from the Roman period? It's not important. But next to it, left and down just a bit, there sits a man who has bought fruit and vegetables for his family. Friends, when we focus on the architecture, when we focus on on the streets and the stones and the buildings. We miss the point of Israel and its connection to our people. Redemption for the world, redemption for our people, only can happen when we focus on the relationships that we share. It's the people that is important not the buildings. I'll see you tomorrow to celebrate Yom Ha'atzma'ut and the people of Israel.